A sand car by cell crew Conrad coming at you with a classified ad review for Monday, May 16th, 2022 on this beautiful two seat long travel car. Before we jump into that, I want to make mention 251 YouTube subscribers. Very nice. I think that's what that dude says. Anyhow, thank you to those that have already subscribed. And if you're new here and you like sand car content, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe as well. So go ahead and hit that button. If you wanna be notified, the bell, give us a thumbs up for some feedback, maybe some uh, in the comments, maybe put some stuff down there too to encourage us as we build this channel, it'd be much appreciated. So without further ado, let's get into the classified ad review. All right, here we are. So I usually do these from the Sand Car Buy Sell Community and Classifieds Facebook page, right? And if you're again, if you're new, this is gonna be classifieds as well as a community. So you're gonna find tech tips, trip reports, pictures, wheelie Wednesday, all sorts of fun stuff, right? So this car is brought to you by West Coast Toys. So what I thought I would do is, instead of doing it from our Facebook page, let me jump over to West Coast Toys Instagram page. I got a full listing of all the parts on the car with the photos, as well as give you a quick rundown. Check this out. I mean, this is like an off-roaders classifieds paradise. Sand car by sell, we focus on sand cars only. I mean, that's my passion. That's a lot of people's passion, but I'm also an off-roader. So when I jump in here, what do we see? Side-by-side -side sand cars, mid-90 Chevy on billet wheels, fast cars, awesome trucks, toy haulers, fast boats, more. Oh, look at these. Oh, look at that. Beautiful trucks, Dodge. Look at that Dodge. Awesome trailer. Check it out. A Tritune. Like everything that we love, right? <laughs> I mean, Jesus, even a scooter. I mean, what is that? Those, I can't remember what that's called, but that looks like fun. I mean, they, they've got everything. So head over to their Instagram page and check it out. West Coast Toys for sale. So let's jump into this classified ad review. I'm going to jump over to this photo first. So what do we have? 2004 spec sand rail. So spec, what that means is this is gonna be a special construction car. That's what the registration and the title is gonna say, is special construction. It's not like a branded car or a named car. This is obviously built by a professional fabricator. Once we jump into the photos, you'll, you'll see why, but it's just licensed as a special construction. Asking $23,000, 2.4 Ecotech, 091 bus trans with Weddell ring and pinion, CBM computer, Fox shocks, Electric power steering, which is super bitchin'. JMR hubs, brand new JMR calipers and discs, Willwood turning brakes. Man, those are nice. You'll see it in the photos. New stainless brake lines and clutch lines, carbon fiber wrap, new fuel lines, regulator and filters. I mean, this car's ready to go for the season, right? Or even if you have it shipped somewhere where it's the current season because it's super hot and glamorous. And Dumont. And Buttercup, sorry. Ogilvy. I don't want to leave anybody out, but I did. Heated seats are always a bonus. PRP harnesses, PRP seats, padded paddles front and rear on Raceline double beadlock wheels, which means the beadlocks they've got on the outside as well as on the inside of the wheel. LED light bar and pods come with four rollers, LED whips, PCI intercom, headsets, rugged radio, car to car, 23,000 or best offer. So that's what we're working with here. So let's take a look right away. The race lines, epic wheels, right? We've got the uh, machining in these. I love that they're doing that these days. These look super awesome. Side-by-side -side sand tires. Interesting on a sand car, right? So you usually see these on uh, the UTVs or the side-by-sides, but he's went ahead and mounted them up on his sand car, which I think is a great idea. I'm really curious about the performance of these. Also, We've got a very short wheelbase, right? Two, seat, two seats, short wheelbase, and a very lightweight car. We don't know what it is. He didn't tell us what the weight is, but just by looking at it, I can tell you that this is gonna be a blast to drive. It's gonna turn very well, and it's gonna go over those whoop de doos with no problem. So single shock in the front, again, it's all that's necessary, it's lightweight. Dual shocks in the rear, Single row, uh, you know, skinny LED light bar. You got a couple of your pods down here. Looks like a couple of side steps. Let's keep going. I'm going to back this up. Here's the inner beadlock that you see on there. Front disc brakes. Dual whips. Just 
Just the rear shot of the Ecotec. Looks like there's some camber built into this rear suspension. I'm kind of curious. Aceco did that. If you ever look at an Aceco car, uh, Mike Monahan built those two seat or four seat sand cars, not the off-road race cars, but the sand cars. And he built them with some camber uh, in the rear suspension, which is really awesome. So when you look at him in the dunes, you see him and you're like, is it broken? No, it's actually built that way. So, so it'll turn. So let's look at this. This is a pretty epic setup. So if we look at the structure of this car where the tubing runs, and then we've got an X brace built in here. There's an extra tube going across here. The front bumper coming around and tying in. There's an X brace on the floor. The Y into the um, center tube coming back here. This car's built right, okay? You stuff this car or you roll it end to end and you're gonna be protected. This car's not gonna fold up. It's not gonna wad up. It's built really well. It's built like an off-road race car, actually. So far cry from, uh, you know, sand cars of the day, whenever we were first starting out with all of these things. So this is a pretty bitchin' setup. So we've got, let's see, the billet hanger to the electric power steering. I'm a fan of electric power steering, especially if you have Razor front tires. If you've ever driven those, you know, with the Razors with no power steering, you know, it's, it's pretty rough. Do it when the sand is wet. Oh my gosh, those things just knife into the sand and you're getting arm pumped like you're racing motocross or supercross, right? So I'm always a fan of the power steering on the bigger cars. Looks like we've got a real nice rack on there. Let's move on. What else do we have? That was the side view that we were looking at. So it's got an Ecotec 2.4. So here's, a, here's, here's the thing about this. This is a four-cylinder, inline four-cylinder. I don't know if this is a crate engine or if this has got any work done to it, if it's got pistons or rods or maybe a cam or anything, because he doesn't list it, right? But these are super reliable, pretty quick engines, actually, with a header on it and an intake. These are usually around 180 horsepower stock. This engine is probably pushing 200 horsepower with a little bit of modifications that I can at least see on here. So you're gonna have a short wheelbase, lightweight, 200 horsepower car. And I can hear you already. Well, Conrad, my side-by-side -side has 198 horsepower. And you're right. The new side-by-sides are coming out with some amazing horsepower. But here's the thing about this, is this is a pretty bulletproof engine. I love this car. I only do classified reviews on cars that I would buy for myself. So I would like to have this car, I would put my teenagers in it, right? And they can go run it and they can have a good time. You run it for a season or two and then you're like, oh, you know, I'm ready for some more power. And what do we typically wanna do? We wanna swap the engine in trans. I'm not that type of guy. I'm not gonna swap the engine in trans in a car. I will sell a car complete or a different car that has the engine or the trans in it that I want. Because trying to pull this out, put a Subaru in there, four cylinder, six cylinder, uh, or putting a um, you know Honda V6, 3.5 or 3.2, or even putting a V8 is a bad idea in uh, such a short wheelbase car, but guys do it, right? The problem is, is all the motor mounts don't fit. The axles don't line up. The radiator lines all need to be rerun. The transmission needs to be retabbed. It's it's just a huge deal. So in a situation like this, this would be fun to run for a season or two or forever. I mean, I'm happy with 200 horsepower, but if you're not, this is what I would do. Look at this baby right here. So there's bolt on turbo systems for these things as well. So this is a beautiful setup with a snail right here. It looks like it's got a super trap exhaust on it. You've got your inner cooler on there and that's good for another 100 horsepower. So you can have a good time with a 200 horsepower Ecotec. And if you wanted to bump it up, bolt on this turbo kit to it, uh, get it tuned and then rock and roll. 300, uh, 300 horsepower will put you in your seat. This, this, that would be an epic combination right there. Now, here's the other thing. It happens to have an 091 bus box in it. And I, you know, I'm not gonna get on my high horse about this one, but you know, folks, don't particularly, they hear 091, they hear bus box, three rib, six rib, and the whole nine, no, oh, no, 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 we, it doesn't have a Mendeola, it doesn't have an HV1, it doesn't have, doesn't have, doesn't have, doesn't have. So our mission statement for Sand Car Buy Sell is to entertain and educate. So for those of you that are new to the Sand Car world, 
and you're not sure, and you've heard people say that about the bus box, here's the deal, and here's why it's built with this bus box. This four cylinder doesn't have a lot of torque, right? So the bus boxes work really well with higher revving engines. That's the Ecotec, like inline Toyota four cylinders. You put a four cylinder uh, flat Subaru in there. You put a Mazda rotary in there and these high winding engines don't cause any drama to that 091. It's only when you start putting V6s with turbochargers and or blowers on them or V8s and you start putting them that they have so much torque that they start wadding up the internals of the bus box. So suffice to say, I'm a fan of the bus box, right? They work very well for the application, especially with the engine that it's bolted to. You're gonna have miles of smiles with this setup. You're gonna wanna do maintenance on that transmission, but chances of it really breaking are pretty slim because of this package, the way it's been set up. So let me put your mind at ease on the 091 Trans. If we were looking at a car that was 3,500 pounds, five seats, and it had a turbocharged LS something in it with a bus box, I wouldn't be doing a review on the car because you're going to spend more time working on that thing and replacing the transmission than you are going to be driving it, right? Buy the best and cry once. That's what Mr. Gene Berg said. Okay, off my horse, <laughs> the rant over off my high horse. This is a great combo. Don't be, don't be scared. So here's all the electronics behind the seat. We've got a battery mounted down low. Looks like the radiator, really large radiator. And let's see, some limiting straps. That's a nice addition to that. Again, like race car type quality stuff. Beautiful set of trailing arms. Look at the side steps on here. So you can get in and out of the car, you know, so for old guys like me, right? Here's the, uh, the desert tires or the street tires. The rollers, you know, to get in and out of your trailer or run it up and down the street and uh, piss off your neighbors. I never do that. And let's see, it looks like we got a wing trunk. Let's keep going through here. So the radiator is inside here. This is a beautiful setup where the radiator's right in the wind and then it's blowing down right out the bottom of the car. So it's going to stay very cool. Oh, here we go. Here's your intake, your air filter. Nice axles, again, all the triangulation. Check out all the, you know, the shock work mounts. It, it's beautiful. Uh, let's see, fire extinguisher, headsets, I see that. Here's your antenna for your car to car. Really nice. Oh, check out the chromies on this. Reminds me of the 80s, late 80s, early 90s when we were running, running around in slammed Volkswagens with uh, two tens in the back and bouncing all over Orange County. Okay, so it looks like here's I've got a hood on it. What else do we have? PRP seats. I do recommend, it doesn't look like it's got it, is the uh, anti-submarine belt, the crotch strap. You can pick these up from PRP. It's really easy to, to attach them to your seat belt. You just have to have a tab mounted under the seat. Uh, this car is so structurally sound that you endo it. It's gonna stay together, right? But you don't want to slide out from underneath it. So I'm big on safety. So I would definitely recommend to get the crotch strap for this car or any other car that has the availability to do that. Got PRP door bags, grab handle, JMR shifter, super shifter. So this button down here, that's for reverse. That's the reverse lockout. So you don't uh, accidentally hit reverse when you're banging the gears, when you're drag racing or going up the hill. You actually have to push that button down and put the car into reverse in order to uh, get it to go into reverse. So that's a nice setup right here. Here is the walker brake or the steering brake, whatever you want to call it. Willwood, man, they've come up with some really nice stuff these days. Willwood is, is dropping some bitching stuff. Also looks like we've got expanded metal floor. I'm an expanded metal floor guy. I love this stuff, right? Because the sand sifts right through it. Oh, also it's really fun when you jump to watch the land just go away. You're like, ooh, ow, ooh. That's, that's what it's like to me. Anywho, all right, so it looks like that's the last photo, PRP seats. Let me jump back here. Oh, darn it. We don't wanna look at that. Here we are. So nice picture in the dunes. I don't think there's anything else on that. I'll just close it out right here. 
So this is it overall, really nice package. You figure 200 horsepower with an 091, short wheelbase, lightweight. You're gonna have a kick in the ass time. And if you wanted to upgrade it, you could with a, with a turbocharger or a blower. You could even go that route too. But this would be so much fun just as it is. So before I close this out, I wanna to mention to you as well, head over to the sandcarbuysell.com website. Pick yourself up a hat, get yourself a shirt. Check it out. We might even throw some stickers in. Boom. But otherwise, I guess that's all I got. And we will end this and say thank you for watching. See you in the dunes.